giveth power to the faint. I want to hear you read it. Let's go together. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increased strength. He increased the word strength. Even the youth, you are, I'm not hearing you breathe. Uh huh. Shall faint and be weary. And the young man shall utterly fall. Say, God forbid. Say, I'm a young man, but by his grace, I will not fall. Verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So you have to look at a thematic imprint of the process of acceleration. So we're going to look at some acceleration hub today. May I just start my ministry today by prophesying to 13 people that God is visiting the faint with power. God is increasing the strength of the weak. The youth shall be visited with ideas. The youth shall be visited with healing. God will help the youth this month. I want to hear your amen louder here. Your helpers will not be far away from you. This month of July shall be your month of divine exchange. There shall be exchange. There shall be exchange. Your season of sorrow will give back your season of success. There shall be exchange. Your human weakness for divine strength. There shall be exchange. May I prophesy to you that this month uh, many shall defer and defect to God. Amen. Somebody shout a louder amen in the house here. Amen. Lift up your voice. I want to hear your amen like a believer here. Amen. Now sit down with me, for me. When we talk about acceleration, we talk about movement. We talk about what? We talk about speed. Now, you cannot talk about acceleration without understanding accelerator. The accelerator is what gives you access to speed. And so, if you step on the accelerator, how you step on the accelerator determines your speed. But sometimes, you have the power to step on the accelerator, but if there is no space, you can accelerate. The car has the capacity. The car has the fuel. But because there are other cars ahead of you that have not moved. I'm going to show you something today. You are not able to step on it to move forward. So the reason we are not able to move forward is because others that have to move for you to move are standing. And one of the most serious thing in life, hear me ladies and gentlemen, is to be at the back of people whose car can move fast but your car has the capacity to move fast but they are in front of you. And this is the reason many people's life has been stampeded when they are supposed to experience speed instead. So many cars are, are, if, are burning fuel, not because they by standing, not because they can't move, but because something must move for them to move. Someone must move for them to move. Let me say this before I take you somewhere. May I announce to you today that somebody in your life must be prayed for to move so that you too can move. Some of you that are praying for yourself, you don't have any connection, you don't have any this thing. Even if you pray and God wants to bless you, the money that will come will not be as someone God is sending to bring a shift and a change in your life. May I announce to you today that sometimes, instead of you to pray for yourself, be like Job, pray for your friends and God will turn your own captivity around. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Maybe you don't understand what I'm saying. But let me take you forward a little bit. So there are cars. Everyone say cars. Say that again. Say cars. Say for the last time. Say cars. Cars are lined up. And one car is broken down. Yet you have to catch a flight. 
and then you are sitting in your car and the same route you are sitting in your car and you are shouting you are stupid you are fool how can you do this my car you know you do you know who i am and talking sister brother you will talk but you can't do anything why because the car is spoiled what are you supposed to do come down from your car go and help the other car that is broken down to be fixed take it out of the road or help it to move by the side so you can get away there are some of us the reason why we are not accelerating is because there are people around us who are already sitting somewhere uh, blocking us not to be able to get into the place where we can function properly you cannot move them you can't move them but you are just at the back of them and complaining meanwhile you have the capacity to help them so they can move forward then you can as they are moving you get a space you overtake and go ahead and you can even send help later for the people what i'm saying is very deep but if i'm not careful you understand may god grant you access to speed I don't like your amen. May God give you access to speed. You are lost, eh? Are you lost? <laughs> May God give you access to speed. Today I looked at Prophet Franklin's note about acceleration, the elder. I was shocked. I said, ah, so why did I worry myself that I will preach today? Powerful message. I can't wait for the day to be preached. Me and Osmafu, we became scared. We say we have to go and revisit our notes. Somebody say amen. amen. So God is telling you that sometimes the money that is in your hand that is nothing to you can set somebody up in business. So help that person. Move the person out of the way and prepare yourself for what is coming. Yay. I have to take my time to teach this. That if the money in your hand cannot start the business you want to start, make it a seed for harvest will be coming. I think I have to do this. So let me show you something. Let's identify four groups identified in the book of Isaiah, the scripture we read. Number one, I'm not going to explain them, is the renewing group. Is what? So I have a car. I have not taken the car to service it. I told you I'm not going to preach today. I just want to set a background of, uh, of this so that you will understand what is going to happen this month. And then, I have not taken it to service. Because of that, the car speed has been reduced. But when I take the car to service, they change the oil, they change some things inside, I give it the ability for the car to give it best on the road. True or false? I can't, true or false? The first group of people this is something we will deal with very well. But I just want you to know. The renewing group. God is calling you for renewal. Renewal of covenant. You didn't say amen. amen. Am I preaching at all? The renewal of your grace. The renewal of your mindset. God is calling people into the atmosphere of renewal. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to be renewed. Amen. Shout, O oh Lord, oh Lord, I receive the grace receive to be renewed. Did you see that in that Bible? Huh? They shall renew their what? They, they that wait upon, they shall do, do renew their what? Their what? Are you sure you are? Their what? So there is a strength renewal. Strength renewal. Strength renewal. Number two, is the mount up group they mount up with wings like eagle so there's a mount up group <laughs> what group is that mount up group your portion is at the top you can't walk there you must soar there 
you miss it. I say your portion is at the top. You cannot walk there. You cannot run there. You have to soar there. You have to fly there. Receive the grace to fly to your destiny. Shout that amen like fire. I'm giving you an imprint. Number three, the running group. The group that ran. Are you in church? The group that does what? Son, write your note. Write your note. Don't forget it. The group that ran. Hear me today. There are people that cannot fly, but they can run. I heard a guy saying something. He said, if you cannot fly, run. If you can run, walk. If you can walk, just crawl. Be by all means, there should be movement. I pray for you today. In this month, there shall be movement by all means. Lift your voice and shout amen to Jesus. The running group. I love your word. The what group? The running group. The running group. One block after the other. One cement. Half plot of land. You were a house owner. Who am I communicating with? Stop eating outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop going to restaurant. Stop impressing people. Start saving small, small. Get small land. Would even if it's quarter plots, just build three bedroom on it and do garage inside. Drive your small car inside. Abraba says here, you are leaving the place. You are accelerating by running. Wave your hand. Preaching and me preaching and you're not in the running group the fourth one is the walking group what kind of group they can run I did not write the fifth one, but I will tell the fifth one. The walking group. What kind of group? Say that again. Say that again. Listen to me from today. You have to start walking. In fact, I even heard that walking is very healthy. So now I walk every day. And I'm, I realize I'm feeling better. I walk every day. At least I walk every day. You know, the list is 30 minutes. I walk. Sometimes one hour. Yes, and I was deliberate to do one hour. I walk. I walk. Are you listening to me? In life, walk. Even if you won't get any result. Do you know the reason why mad people live longer than sane people? They walk. Yes. They walk. Two things. They walk and smile. They walk. Because when they walk, everything in their body starts working. And all the bad things they've eaten comes out of their pores. And then they use the restroom better than we do because they walk. They walk. They walk. Anytime you walk, something in you is activated. You got to walk. In life, I'm just talking about normal walking. Then I'm talking about life walking. Don't just say, I will do. Man can say, may your way. No, 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 no. To an amount say, whoa, yeah. Nature say, radim wama wonya. Just take a step that you are doing and see whether God will not help you to do it. Give somebody have a say, you got to start walking. I don't like the way you are. You just did it. I don't really like it. And one more time, give somebody, say, tell the person, you got to start walking. Possibly tap the person and say, you got to start walking. Yeah, you got to start walking. Stop sleeping. 
in my life, God is my witness. I have never relied on any man. I have been grace to make no many people in life. But I have never relied on any man for my survival or my supply. I would have died. Start walking yourself. Stop sleeping. If you can't walk, this is not the time. I will talk more about this. What you got to do is number four, the waiting group. Number five, the waiting group. There are people that don't have the capacity to walk. They don't have the capacity to run. They don't have the capacity to soar. But they have the capacity to develop. They are the waiters. Limbra kopayate siya. Lekumranda saiki maanda. The capacity you develop determine the blessings you can carry. Waiting time is not a wasting time. Waiting time is a developmental time. So we can all be seated here. Somebody will go to a law school. Maybe six years. I don't know. Somebody will go to a medical school. Maybe six years. I don't know. By the time we see, we see, we say that he is an esquire. That is a lawyer. Oh, doctor, this. The person's status changed. Not because the person was walking. But because the person was waiting for six years to develop capacity and the capacity you develop can make you can make you jump the sequence from walking to running you can start soaring I don't like the way you are clapping it looks like we are not catching it you can start soaring. So you don't, are you here in church at all? I'm sure you are hearing me. So you cannot tell me that time for waiting is a waste. Jesus waited on God for 40 days and 40 nights. Waiting. The disciples waited at the upper room. Moses waited. Elijah waited. Every great man must be schooled. The person who waited long was Moses. 80 years of waiting. 40 years of manifestation. The guy at the pool of Bethesda was there for 38 years. But nobody, elder, nobody's testimony at the pool was recorded except the man who waited. If your husband kiss you, hug you, and you get pregnant, today, next year you get pregnant, next two years you get pregnant, Next four years, you get pregnant. Who am I communicating with here? It's a blessing, true or false? Oh, it's a blessing, true or false? Are you sure it's not a blessing? Hey, who could do so good? It's a blessing. And that will, that will be your portion. But please hear this today. It might not be celebrated as much as someone who has waited for years and believing God for a child and after 10 years the baby comes forth people from America London, Yugoslavia Tanzania, Taiwan Korea, Japan will be flying down to dedicate a child why? the waiting time increase the celebrating time
men who treat women anyhow is because they just got them they did not struggle they did not wait women that trusts men and treat them anyhow is because they did not struggle to get those people anything you struggle to get anything you wait to get the value system is not the same as the other one that just came hey papa the guy is chasing me i'm warning you don't allow listen tell that guy oh guy you must wait oh <laughs> you must wait he said but you know i love you say oh god wait who is in church here Everybody. as the person is waiting your value system is increasing I don't know why I'm preaching this message to you, but you need to catch it. Are you catching it? Are you sure you are catching it? Okay. All those ushers there, all of you come here and leave only one person there. Clap for them. waiting how many of you want to wait on God I was in London I was supposed to take a bus look at me a little bit and I miss it was a train I miss that after waiting because I did not know the number I'm not used to picking trains I'm not used to picking trains so I showed my ticket to somebody said oh your train has left I said me who after all my waiting I missed the opportunity now waiting become a burden, pain when what you are waiting for finally doesn't come or what you are waiting for finally please listen to me carefully open your eyes finally you realize it was not even for you what an acceleration message I like message when I'm preaching. I hear people talking or quiet. It means it is sinking. Papa, this is the man that wants to marry me. Wow. What's your name? I am Pastor Joseph. Wow. God bless you. How many years have you dated together? Oh, it has been about, um, um, we are in our ninth year. Nkwasiya Chengwe. Nkwasiya Chengwe. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Are you doing PAD course? Nine years. This is not why I'm here. Because, uh, I need to finish while I'm here and get out of your way. Can I take me to the main reason why I'm here today? Prerequisite for acceleration. Prerequisite for what? Acceleration. Wave your hand. 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 And tap somebody by your side and say, Papa said, lift up your hands and wave your hands. Tap the person. Tap the person. Say, Papa said, wave your hand. May God grant you speed. May God grant you speed. May God grant you speed. Number one, quickly. Areas of fainting. There was a day that wait upon the Lord. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They will do what? They will run and not what? 
faint. Areas of fainting. Look at me. Whilst you are running, you will feel like fainting. But if you start fainting, you will not faint. Are you here at all? Hey, if you have never felt you have made a mistake before, you have not started your journey. If you have never felt that you have fainted before, you have never started your journey. I am telling you because at the time, Jesus fainted. He got to a level where he could not carry his own cross. Somebody called Joseph Arimathea had to come and help him to carry the cross. Sometimes in your life, you will be at the level where you feel like you are fainting. I'm preaching to you. Your faith can look dwindling. Your hope can wash cold. Your joy can diminish. Are you listening to what I'm saying? But you have to keep on moving. Even if you like fainting, you have to keep on doing what? Until you die, you must move. Hey, Apostle Lincoln, about, I was disappointed. Morning move. I was ashamed. Morning move. I was rejected. Morning move. I was in so much pain more than do what? Whatever that happens got to move. I've seen some men becoming like mannequins because some women disappointed them. I've seen some women becoming like mannequins. Hey, imagine You got to move. But you see, there is a place of fainting. Have you fainted in your emotions before? Have you fainted in your life before? Have you prayed and said, God, this one, this was the last time, I promise you. Last time. You did a sign of the cross by the time you realize. You said, hey, yeah, wait a minute, my baby, you. Psalm 27 verse 13. I had fainted. I had what? Fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the Unless. So what is the cure for fainting? The goodness of God. Can I pray for you today? As you begin to walk. You know that's what David said that goodness and mercy shall do what? Because goodness comes with walking. Goodness comes with walking. So if you feel like fainting and then you see some goodness, have you ever felt like giving up on something before and somebody came and tell you the reward that is ahead? Strength came on you. It's a goodness that activates strength to forge ahead. Is the reward. Am I teaching at all? Verse 14, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Not on a man, wait on the Lord. Not on a friend, wait on the Lord. I say to you, do what? Wait. Can I pray a prayer for you today? If this amen become very loud, then I decree what you are waiting for shall be delivered to you. So get ready for your financial delivery, your marital delivery, your car delivery, your grace delivery, your mercy delivery. Lift your voice, shout amen three times. Shout again for the last time. So we faint because of unbelief. Sweetheart, just touch the organ for me. I'm seeing something on my eyes. Our strength is derived from our own belief. Our strength is derived from our belief. So the day we believe, we draw strength in God. Who am I communicating with here? If you feel like you are fainting, read the Bible and find out something written concerning you. Whatever written concerning you, believe it and you shall see it. I thought I would hear you amen louder here. God. 
target your fainting as he gives you a gift called power. He giveth power to the faint. He giveth power to the faint. Somebody will ask me, Apostle Nkum, why do you think that Peter, who was a coward, Peter, who even betrayed, denied Jesus about three times, how was he able to stand in front of the hindering? It's because when he waited, he did not faint. But power came. When the power came, courage came, and he started preaching to people he was afraid of. I came to tell you what you are afraid of. If you can wait a little bit, develop capacity, and you don't faint. I tell you, as you shout amen, you receive the power to forge ahead. Everybody shout power. I can't hear you. Shout power. I declare receive power. If you feel like fainting, receive power. I'm not talking about celebration, but I'm talking about celebration. He prepares the faint to enjoy this favor. God is visiting the faint with power. Papa, me a papa, Maria, my papa. I am almost giving up. Papa. My race, when you mean walk of home, my race, when you go for Mukra, I conform. Minim Yame, yet, Minim Kanya, a rather be first one, Boame. Papa, I'm going to be brain up, Baba, so. But me, who's a Bakokra, I shall see for you, it is a be my mammy. My bummer boo, when my kids are going to him. I came to tell you today, he giveth power to the faith. Somebody shout power. power. Hey, shout again, shout power. power. One more time, shout power. power. Ah. So God doesn't faint. Who doesn't faint? God does not faint. So when you connect to God, you cannot faint. Sweetheart, let us see that I am I, I am stuck here like this. And I say, push me. Push me. What on the wall? Push me. Let's say whether I will fall. It doesn't matter who you are. I will not fall. Because of the kind of what? Support. The person I am relied on. God is a total reliance system. That does not disappoint people. I came to tell you, if you can rely on God, you will not faint in your walk with him. Lift your hand and shout amen to Jesus. Amen. Mano, Chena Pinti, Chano, Oni Matini, Namiba, Oni Matini, Obeya, Number Two. If you feel like fainting, don't faint. Don't faint. If you feel like giving up, don't give up. Who am I communicating with here? If you feel like it looks like he's far away, I tell you he's closer than you think. The absence of might. Absence of what? Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Absence of might. Please let me pray for you today. May God give you might. One of the names of God. Okay, let's read this scripture. Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 10. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in your education. 
Hey, talk to me. Talk to me, sweetheart. Be strong in your education, in your job, in your creativity, in your innovation, in your husband, in your wife, in your connection, in your fame, in your association, in your wealth. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. In the Lord. And in the power of his might. Please, are you listening to me? The original Hebrew word for might is called gibor. 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 It means energy unstoppable. Resources unstoppable. Grace unstoppable. strong. Hey, this world, weak people can survive, sweetheart. You need to be strong mentally, but in the Lord. You need to be strong that you will make it. Sweetheart, you will. You will. It will shock everybody. Be strong. Whilst you are struggling, eh? To find your own path. Somebody is somewhere saying, how can we stop him? If you don't become strong, the resistance will stop your inheritance. You must be strong. In the Lord, not in your skill. Not in your ability. Be strong in the Lord. In the power of his mind. Let's move. Thank you, Lord. Be strong. Tell somebody, be strong. Give the person I have a message, be strong. So he donates his strength for you to embrace, to brace up in the critical area where you lack spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical energy. He donates his strength. So God is a strength donator. Which area of your life do you feel weak? Which area of your life do you feel rejected? Which area of your life do you feel like you are not running? Depend on God for might. When you depend on God for might, you become a light. Give God a clap and a shout in the house if you can. <laughs> Jeremiah 32. Verse 17, Message Bible. Dear God, my master, you created the earth and sky by your great power. By merely stretching forth, stretching out your arm, there is nothing. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. Did you did, 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 did you read that scripture well? Read verse 17 with me. Ah, Lord God. Exclamation. Ah. Exclamation. Ah. An expression of shock. Ah, Lord God. Behold. Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out your stretch out stretch arm and there is nothing too hard for thee. Nothing. Nothing. Obey to me aye. Obetum aye, Obetum aye, Mabu, Obetum absence of mind. Sawufi said, Baby, I woke on Wunya Wadia, 
pamuti yako ponzo i'm telling you i'm telling you he is the only one that can take joseph from the pit made his enemies sell him and the people that sold him paid his transfer fare and took him to the place where he saw his vision and I gave him provision in order for him to fulfill his vision on earth who am I talking about here the brothers thought they were selling him they did not know that God was sending him Life is a mystery. I tell you this today. You cannot rely on God and become a byword. You cannot. You cannot. You can go through things. You can go through pain. You can go through adversity. You can go through rejection. You can be broke. You can be fired from work. But I tell you, you bounce back better than the way you fell. Give God a clap and a shout in this house. Yeah. Number three, areas of falling. Areas of what? Areas of falling. Psalm 103 verse 8. The Lord is compassionate and merciful. Slow to get angry. And filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. He will not constantly what? Accuse us or remain angry. Yeah, I can't hear you. Or remain angry. So God does not constantly accuse us and he does not Who is in church? Look at the end. He said, He does not punish us for all our sins. He does not deal harshly with us as we deserve. Have you fallen before in your life? As you rising up? No, you are not in church. God help me. Let me get a congregation that are like me. Who are, who are frailty, who, who are falling before like me, and they will understand how to shout that amen. I pray over your life that God's unfailing love is what has kept you. God's mercy is what has kept you. Lift your voice and say, Oh Lord, thank you for not allowing me to experience what I deserve. Give the Lord a clap and a shout in that. You smiling for his unfailing for his unfailing love toward those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. Verse 12. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. This kind God do. I've never seen your kind do. This kind God do. Blessed be your holy name. So the sin I remember, God don't even remember. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. If we are falling before, there is an antidote for it. The just shall fall seven times. He shall rise up again. So there is a room for falling. I'm not saying that go and make mistake because it's just seven times. <laughs> Who am I communicating with here? You are doing something, you fail. Do it again. Get up again. Are you listening to me? Don't give up on yourself. Some of you, some people can make you feel so bad. But if God opened their wardrobe, 
you'll be shocked what is in their cardboard. Apostle, what are you preaching today? I am saying that there are people if you see yourself that you are falling, receive the gaze to rise. God is the only one that sees you down and will lift you up. Hey, man, that, that won't, don't lie to yourself that somebody will see you that you are down and they will come and say, get up. And no, 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 they won't. They will. So you that was doing better than them. Now that you are doing well, and something bad has happened to you. They will say that get up. No, no, no. They will say, Nigeria said, do, 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 do. That means kafra. Or do kafra say, wa kafra. Wa kawuni forming in Afra. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I, I do, are you listening to what I'm saying? But only God can see you down, lift you up, put you on a donkey, take you to the hospital, clean you up, and give extra money that if in case of anything, I will handle it. If you are falling, I see you rising up. us not to run. It's when we run and we hit something and we fall. Or our strength fails us and we fall. And the Bible said if we fail in the midst of adversity, it means our strength is small. And many of us here have failed not because we didn't want to succeed but because our capacity our strength was small. And the Lord said, I should tell you today that if you are falling, if you are down, if you have been trampled upon, if you have been concluded upon, he has come to lift you up. For he giveth power to the faint. He giveth power to the faint. Lift up your voice and shout amen to Jesus. Which area of your life are you emotionally weak? Are you financially weak? Are you intellectually weak? Are you academically weak? Are you relationally weak? Are you associationally weak? In that areas of your life, the Lord said he's coming in for you. We are all seated here. We are all here. Everybody have a place, area where we fall. Some people's own are, are, are intellectual lies. Many things but God. But God. Psalm 103 verse 13. The Lord is like a father to his children. Who is he like? Hey. Who is he like? I don't like it. Who is he like? If my son, Corbina, decide to say he is not, I am not his father. Only DNA will prove. Are you a child of God? The blood of Jesus is the proof. Will I ever, will he ever lose my blood? No. He will be my son forever. You are God's child forever. You will shout amen. I don't even like the way you are shouting it. Give God a clap and praise in this house. Wait, wait a minute. 
The Lord is like a father to his children. Tender. I love you. And compassionate to those who fear him. God is tender with me. God is tender with you. Look at verse 14. For he knows how weak we are. And he remembers we are only dust. I'm not the one who remembers. He, he, God, remembers that we are only dust. When you hear a word like this, you fall in love with God over and over and over and over. Do your hand like this. Over and over and over and over again. Can you give God a clap in this house here? Wow! He recognized that we are only dust. Give me verse 14 again. I love the version you use for me. Shadaba. For he knows how weak we are. Now, if you are walking and then you get to a place, maybe this is where you are supposed to get to, that place there, or maybe the corner there, but you are here and you are weak. The way you are running, is that how you run to the place? You'll be taking step like this. He said, Nyanko Ponsu or The only thing is that the power to get there will never leave your life. You will say, get there. Oh, I'm hearing Noah giving instruction that all the animals will enter into the ark. And I saw giraffe entered. I saw lion entered. I saw big, big animals entered. Cheetah entered. All those big ones that can run entered. And I saw a uh, 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 What's the name? Tortoise. And I saw a snail. And I said, hey, are you guys also going? They said, we are going. Will you get there? He said, we'll get there. He said, God's time was based on our capacity. I was shocked when I was inside and I saw tortoise coming to the top. Before they shot the ark, tortoise was inside. Before they shot the ark, the snail was inside. Are you weak? Have you fainted? Are they carrying you to the hospital? They don't want to resuscitate you. I tell you this today. You will come back and do exploit for God. Give him a clap and a shout in this hand. Which area of your life do you fall? Where? What? Are you slippery? What are your slippery areas where you fall? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Number four, I'm finishing right now, so I get out of the way. Vulnerabilities. So you see, I'm not talking about acceleration, but I'm talking about acceleration. When we say vulnerabilities, it is weakness revealed in ability. You are vulnerable. But if you see the word abilities, it is potency. But vulnerability destroys the potent behind your abilities. So let's look at when Paul was going through things in his life and he became vulnerable, weak in his life. He did not know what to do. He wanted to run. He wanted to do something great for God. But things in his life did not give him the chance. Then he went to God and said, God, you must do something about my situation. And God said, Paul, you want to receive acceleration? He said, yes. He said, but there are impediment, blockade, anarchy, human interferences like Alexander Copper Smith. People that rise against my life. But, but sir, I don't know what to do. And God said in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 9 to Paul, he said, and he said to me, that means God said unto me, uh -huh, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength 
is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my vulnerability, my infirmities, my weaknesses, than that the power of Christ may rest upon me. I declare today, receive the power of Christ. Let it rest on you. So let me say something crazy that no pastor will say. The reason why we don't see the power of God is because the church is living, living, living in pretense. We are not holy. We are behaving we are holy. We are not strong. We are behaving we are strong. We, we, are, we are liars. We are behaving as if we are truthful people. Are you listening to what I'm saying now? We are not straightforward, but we are behaving as if we are. So if you are, you are making God feel like you are what you are not, how can his strength come and make you what you think you already are? It is your identity. Like, three pastors. One said, Change. When I see women, I can't stand it. Another one said, Ah, when I see money, ha, money is my weakness. Another pastor said, Ah, sorry, oh, my weakness also is that everything I hear, I will talk about. That is how the two pastors fainted. They took them to the hospital. I don't know whether they survived. <laughs> I, am I preaching or I'm, I'm telling Tony in the church? I think I'm, I'm teaching it. Okay. Look at NLT. It, listen to me. Be yourself before God. Before, be yourself before whom? Don't pretend. Hey, Unia, if you pretend before people, don't pretend before God. Come to God just as you are. He's the only one that can take you the way you are and make you become the way he wants you to be. Don't pretend. Lord, this is who I am. This is what I'm struggling with. I need your help. I need your grace. I need your power. Lord, come through for me. Hide so much. Thank you. Thank you. Are you the one who said flow? God, nobody told me to flow. So today I will have to flow towards your direction. Ah, thank you so much. God, this message is flowed here. It has to come from somebody who is strong minded. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 9, NLT. Each time he said, my grace is all you. Each time, that means that was not the first time he went to God. Each time he went to God, he said, look, I am not bringing you miracle. I'm not bringing you intervention. I am not bringing you something that will excite you. I want you to know that what you need to overcome is already in you. My grace, my grace is all you need. My power works best in your weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. God is not afraid of your weakness. Did you hear me? I can't hear you. Did you hear me? I said God is not afraid of your weakness. My mother was sleeping, so I woke her up. If she sleep again, she will stand up until I finish preaching. When I hold the microphone, I am his father. Who am I communicating here? My, my, God, look at me. What did I say? God is not afraid of your weakness. The mess the world is complaining about, God is not afraid of your mess. He knew your mess before he came as the message of grace to save you from your mess. So don't hide the mess. Bring it to God. Open it to God and he will help you. If you don't give it to how can he help you? Pretentious people in church. That's why we are not able to run speed. This ministry should have gone very far. We must come open. God, this is my weakness. Lord, this is my, this is my, what I'm struggling. God, help me and let God help us. You won't say amen. amen. Never live in denial. 
God is interested in all your strength your weakness your gifts your abilities your vulnerabilities your capacity your incapacitation God is interested in all own up to your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses so you can be helped by God everyone who have been able to move ahead in life are people that were helped by God may God help you God help you. May God help you. May God help you. Last one, loss of focus. Why are we not able to run? Because we lose focus. O di mrike ko no bi a friend we train any. No bi di na tam we di na wa reply. No bi si hey kagbana kagbana mayibo. Hey me mayibo. Then you, you stop. You are running. You are going somewhere. Meanwhile, you are going somewhere. Listen to me. I've said this year before. A man that plays the orchestra always turns his back to the crowd. If you want to go ahead, you must not always listen to people. You must not always fight people. You must not always listen to me if you react to everything people say it's a sign you are going nowhere men am one am down for me say i'll be walking out and the madman says hey, i was looking you are a fool you are a fool then i turn to the madman is it me is it me is it me i was looking you say yes you are a fool then i say ah so somebody will come and meet me and the madman. And they will say, no, 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 no. The man is gone. The, 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 the man, that apostle, he has gone cuckoo. Choose your battles. Don't lose focus. Respond to relevance, not distractions. Who am I blessing today? Hey, wow. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. May God give you focus. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Stand on your feet. Are you blessed today? Did you learn some things today? Please look at me. No man died for you. No man. The one who died for you said, he died because of your sin. When you did not know him, he died for your sin. Now that you have come to know him, he will not throw you out because of your sin. He will empower you to overcome it. But he won't throw you away. Who am I communicating with here? Wave your hand. You see, this message, when I preach, because I'm a grace preacher, eh, people, I, I, I wish one day I would get somebody who will contend with God's love. God's mercy over his judgment. And we always be in church, and there's so much fear about the God who loves us. He loves you. God loves you. I know you know, but let me re-echo it and listen to me. Whatever you are doing, just look at me. I want you to know that God loves you. I want you to know that God loves you. And you came from God and he is the only one that can affirm the originality of who you are. God loves you. You are beautiful. You are exciting. You are amazing. Your vulnerability might be able to stop your speed. But if you depend upon him, he will swallow your vulnerability and take you to where you are supposed to go. Clap your hands and give God some praise and glory in this house. I want us to pray this prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is ministering to me something in the middle of the service. I saw 
basket of fruit everywhere in the church. Basket of fruit everywhere. And I said, what does acceleration have to do with fruit? Suddenly, I saw in the realm of the spirit that I was walking in a desert where one tree is here, another tree is here, another tree is here, another tree is here, but there were no plenty trees. And something happened and I saw some things coming from the ground. And I thought it would take time. By the time I realized it has grown and there was fruit. And people were rushing to eat it. The Lord said, that is how your life will be from today. And he told me because of this, next week should be a fruit service. Everybody will bring a particular fruit you love. We are going to pray over it. We are going to believe God that as fruits, as we eat that particular fruit, may God make us to suddenly become fruitful in our lives and our destiny. Lift up your hand. Give God a clap and praise in this house. Lift your voice. Say, oh Lord, fix me inside out in the name of Jesus. Fix me, Lord. Fix me, Lord. Fix me, Lord. Inside out. Inside out. Clap your hands and begin to pray for God. Eli brando balura shaky pop, me hands and the go to bosha, and bendy bolo to sato shaka papa, by a papa, repetable, rapa baba baba, mashaka paya kafe, ipa kapaha, ma lepre kopo shaka papa, eli bra papaya naba, bella brega bella gana, ipa hapa naba, e penda brega paya palu apa, e apa baba baba. I want us to pray a last prayer. Just of recent, I realized that even at my age and where God has lifted me in his kingdom, I feel there is a vacuum of fatherlessness in my heart. Now the fact that I did not have a father in my life I still feel there was a vacuum in my heart. That father's validation means a lot to me. Because I did not have it. Some of you, your mother might have said something. Your father might have said something. Your uncle might have said something. It left a vacuum. Your teacher might have said something that might have left a vacuum in you. Are you listening to me? Are you sure you are listening to me? We are praying this prayer that say, Lord, I come against. Lord, I come against. All incentives. All incentives. For gaps. For gaps. Loopholes. Loopholes. Loop vacuum. Vacuum. In my heart. In my heart. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Any weakness. Any weakness. Pray it. Pray it. 
things I'm struggling things with, I'm struggling with behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I clap my hands, as I clap my hands, and I begin to pray, and I begin to pray. I receive your power. I receive your power and your grace and your grace. Your power. Your power and your grace. And your grace. Your power and your grace. Your power. Your power and your grace. And your grace. Your power. Your power and your grace. Your power. Your power. Clap your hands and pray. Shabbat shalom. 